But we take the opportunity to see how some of those complex storylines, which are acted out most weeknights on our tellies, could link in with our own lives. So it's time for us to get in a lava. Oh, ah, leave it to me, Mr. Pollard. A few parts might speed the job along, though. In the lava. Well, as one Whoa. of the dingles. Ah. There you go. <laughs> oh, now here's a little clip for you from tonight's Emmerdale, which sees a frustrated Nicola trying to pin down D Jimmy for a date for their big day. And how about we book the wedding? I thought we were having a break from planning. Well, if we're going to do this, we need to get a move on. Yeah, well, June's a bit soon, though, isn't it? I mean, it'll take ages to arrange. The knife were organised. We manage the christening in a few weeks. Only about making everyone else's life a misery. Well, I don't think we can go through all that again. Especially not now we've got the kids. Don't you want to get married? Cool, have you ever seen a bunch of people more excited about a wedding, eh? <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> so it seems that Nicola's delighted at the prospect of planning her big day. But should you ever try to take control of your relationship's destiny and pin down your man like she is there? Well, I've pinned down a few men. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but what, what properly though? <laughs> no, I mean I don't mean I mean you know. I know what you, you mean. Always in control. Do you have to be in well, control? Well, do you know what it is? When I was twenty, I had a relationship with a with a guy who was quite older than me, and um, he controlled everything about my life, everything. And I think when I when I managed to walk away, run away actually from that relationship, I thought, I want my I want to make decisions now. So I think I'm still. At that stage now, I think the other way, yeah. Bossy. Yeah, when I got married, I, d I think I did say to my ex-husband, although I mean he proposed and everything, but I did say, right, well look, um, yes, I'll marry you. Well, let's do it next month. We'll go to Las Vegas. We'll organise it. I organised it, and I suppose I do. I do push things along a little bit. Maybe you shouldn't do that. I don't know. Just no. make, take it easy. Not with a big thing like no, a you wedding. Stop it. Yeah, but I mean, I mean like that, don't they? No, they don't no like that's it. why don't they, they I go along like with it. Not being lazy. No, they don't like no, it. No, I did it, no. Zoe. I did it. I organised everything: the wedding, his suit, his underpants, his socks, <laughs> his shoes, I ordered, or the cake, everything. I got the church, and yeah. the next to the church was the place we had the reception in the vicar's garden. But what I forgot to say to the vicar's, could she take a washing off the line? <laughs> so all the pictures are me with the vicar's knickers. <laughs> but it's not a good idea. I mean, because they don't like being pushed well, but and they, organised. But they, but they do. They they go along with it because they're yeah. they're kind of lazy they're and lazy. they rather someone else organised it all. And, yeah, and it's not a good idea. Hang on but... a minute. You don't want to marry somebody because they're too no, no, lazy not... to not go along no, no, with I'm it. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying it's a good idea I think it's a shocking idea and you know like so I mean we thought we've all been in controlling yeah. relationships and you only get one of those you don't let it happen again yeah, and you can yeah. either go the other way or you can kind of learn from it and just not do it but you know I'm, I'm quite I, I have to check myself sometimes because when I'm talking about my, my see I did it again my wedding it's not my wedding our it's our wedding, wedding. <laughs> and you know Mark can be sitting right there and I'll be going yeah but I, I don't I, I don't really want to get married there I think I'm gonna get married so I and it's me my me my me my and it's Aww. not I it's not our or we and I do I always I always realize I'm doing it and I stop it but you can't help it you know if you've been in a situation where you have been you know my first marriage was completely I organized it but he dictated when it was going to be it, and it had to be on a certain date so you don't let that happen again but a little Mark goes careful. up to his room and shuts the door <laughs> and reads his little books and says tell me when you stop shouting at me doesn't he <laughs> No, he doesn't. He's nearly 30. He goes up and he looks at his little diary and goes, Oh, I don't think I can do that. I've got to go to school that day. <laughs> oh, oh, poor little, poor little thing. And, you know, when, when we got engaged, um, I mean, I'd, I'd had never dropped a hint to Darren that I wanted to get married. Um, it came completely out of the blue, and that, which made it all the more special because um, I knew it was something he wanted to do. He had been married before, so it was certainly something I was never going to kind of, you know, put upon him. Mm. Um, and, then, and then we did decide, OK, we're going to get married and we're going to go away and do it, to try and contain it, because I come from quite a big family. Oh, it all got so horribly out of hand. And this was... What he did is he actually... He played, in the long term, a very, a very good game with me because he went along with it. So I'm dragging him around Tuscany. Why Tuscany? We'd never been there, but we decided, yeah, Tuscany would be great. 
We went to Tuscany looking for a small boutique wedding, came back having booked a medieval hamlet. That's a village, everyone. <laughs> a whole village? For 250 people. And it got, oh, it literally, no. it got so out of hand. And I had about three weeks of sort of feeling the waters with it and phoning people and saying, right, it's going to be Italy. We set the date. And then just before we were about to, I was literally writing the cheque for the venue, I thought, I feel pregnant. Like, oh, how would I know that? I I'd never been pregnant before in my life. So I did a pregnancy test and I was pregnant. And we called the wedding off because the be Ben was due within six weeks of the wedding. I thought, that that's a bad idea. And now, a, a big wedding just seems vulgar and flash and a terrible waste of money. If we do it, we'll do it his way, which mm. is small, low-key, mm. cheap. And well, you're dictating. And that you're so actually, his what way. he's got, yeah. is, what he wanted all along was that small wedding. But he kind of indulged me <laughs> and went along with it. But now I'll give him what he wants. And I think actually that's quite a good footing. Yeah, he played the long game. Very clever. Yeah. Exactly. Don't you think? I got when when he said let's get married. I said okay, we'll get married in Vegas because if I don't marry you like straight away, I'll never marry you. I didn't want to do that. So no, I did. I got married in Vegas. Married in Vegas, divorced in Colchester. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're taking one.